Hello friends, welcome to Ultra Pixels. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Hi friends, this is a 32 inch Samsung LED TV. It's a 3D supported LED TV. Here you can see this is the model number. See friends, this is the motherboard. This is the power supply board. And this is the panel Tcon board. Here you can see it's a 32 inch AO panel. Here the complaint is no display. It's mainly because of panel issue. Here the backlight are working properly. See friends, this is the model number of the Tcon board TH32 HN. 03 see friends now the tv is turned on you can see the backlight is working so here the complaint is with this take on board now i will show you the panel voltages here the basic panel voltage 12 volt input VCC is ok here you can see but the VGH, VGL and ABDD voltages are missing see friends here the main TCON processor IC is overheating so instead of repairing this take on board i'm going to use a alternate take on board here actually this take on board is 3d supported so here we going to install a alternate take on board which doesn't support 3d functionality See friends, here we are going to install this Tcon board and the model number of this Tcon board is T320HVN02. This alternate Tcon board doesn't support 3D features. So let's remove this faulty Tcon board from the TV so let's disconnect all FFC cables and LVDS cable from the TV See friends, before installing the alternate Tcon board, let's check the model number of both Tcon board. The default Tcon board model number is T320HN03. And the alternate Tcon board model number is T320HN02. So now let's install this alternate AU Tcon board on this TV see friends this Tcon board doesn't support 3D functionality so it will not work on this TV now let's screw this Tcon board 
on the TV frame. So now we fixed the T-Con board on the TV frame. Now let's connect the FFC cable and the LVDS socket to this T-Con board. See friends, now we connected all FFC cables and the LVDA sockets to this alternate T-Con board. So now let's turn on the TV and check the picture. So instead of this T-Con board, now we installed the alternate one with no 3D support. So, Let's turn on the TV and check the picture. See friends, now the TV is turned on. Here you can see, now the picture comes and the TV is working properly. Here you can see a line on the left side of the display. It's because of cough damage. Otherwise, the TV is working properly. So that's all for today. Hope you like this video. See you in another video with another interesting topics. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. See friends, now the TV is working without any display issues. Thanks for watching.